Congratulations to Francis Marion for their 67 to 58 win over Columbus State and for advancing to Monday's Southeast Regional Final. With us are head coach Jerry Porter and student athletes Brianna Burgens, Camille Dash, and Elasia Watts. We'll begin with an opening statement from Coach Porter and then take questions for the coach and student athletes. We will allot 10 minutes for the press conference. Arrangements can be made through Michael Hawkins if you need additional time. Coach Porter, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, like always, we want to we want to compliment Columbus State. Um, just a an unbelievable program. They have set the bar uh, in this conference year after year, and um, so. We knew coming in today was going to be tough. Um, I said, I think in our press conference yesterday and even to our team, that this is a team who understands winning. They, they know how to win. Um, they have that expectation when they step on the floor. So, um, you know, we just want to congratulate them, them on a terrific season uh, and, um, and make sure that we give the respect that, that we definitely have for them as a, as a team and as a program. Um, with that being said, I'm, I'm so excited about this group and what they're doing right now. Um, you know, we just believe. We really do. Um, I think there was one point even in the game where we had to pause and talk about the fact that, you know, there's no pressure on us. Nobody expected us to be here right now. Um, and so we just need to relax and do what we feel like we do well. Um, and I thought when we settled into that reality and settled into that moment, kind of took a little bit of the pressure off of us, and we were able to just kind of relax and, 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 and close the game out. So, um, you know, one thing that I will say, though, that, and I told them before the game that probably isn't getting talked about enough is the job that we're doing on the boards. Um, our last two games, we've just been really, really good on the glass. Um, and Pat Summit, you know, who's all of our hero, said years ago that offense sells tickets and defense wins games and rebounding wins championships. So we just talked about the fact that if we'll commit to doing what we've been doing on the glass for the next game, we've got a good shot at winning. So, um, again, just proud of them and excited about where we are right now. Thank you, Coach. Uh, now we'll open up the floor for questions. Give us your name, media outlet, and who your question is directed toward, please. So, Lasia, um, Mark Abel in the morning news this morning. Um, beginning of the third quarter, they quickly go up 39-30. Um, you guys obviously didn't, didn't fold. What's going through your mind at that point? Um, play by play. Take it one play at a time and keep our composure. And run, execute offense, get stops on defense. Coach, I'm sure you weren't really, I mean, you probably were a little concerned, but I mean, this is a team that's bounced back all year. I mean, even, even inside games themselves and after losses as well. Sure. Well, what, what, you, what you know about your team after you've been with them for as long as we have this season is that they're very resilient um, and that as long as we, like Lay said, as long as we can stay composed and stay in the moment, um, even when we're down eight or nine, as long as we understand that it's possession by possession, um, that we're not going to make that nine-point deficit up in one or two plays. Um, and I think that speaks to our maturity. We've grown up a lot. I'm not sure this team could have won this game a month ago. But, you know, right now, you know, I think that's where we are just by virtue of how much we've grown up in the last month to a month and a half. Coach, Chris Bergman, Sports Radio with me. And congratulations on the win. But I'm curious, first trip back to the regional finals for Francis Marion since 09. First time you gals have beaten Columbus State. That you have to go all the way back to the uh, late 90s. Ooh, what, does say about, uh, what does this say? What does this say? Not overall. What does this say about where you've been able to get this program? Barely. Um, you know what's interesting about, about stats like that is we didn't know that. Um, <laughs> and, and, yeah, we, we, we had no clue that it had been that bad against Columbus State, oh. although we, you know, we know how good their program has been. Um, so I think for us, um, you know, one of the things that we've been really serious about this year um, is really regaining the respect uh, that Francis Marion women's basketball has had. Um, you know, that kind of has gotten lost in the last few years. And so whether or not this season culminated the way it has or whether it really just turned into us being a really, really hardworking team that played hard and gave everything we had, um, we were going to make sure that we represented well. And so when you start talking about the, the history, I think it just speaks to the fact that, that this group gets where this program has been um, and maybe even where it's been in recent years because, you know, I got three here that have been a part of, of a little bit less success than they're having this year. And I think that makes them work that much harder and it makes them appreciate where they're at even more. And sort of a follow-up, and this is for anybody who'd like to chime in, would you like to play again tomorrow or is the day off actually a helpful thing for you before you play for the championship? 
That's a great yeah, question. Most definitely, we need this day off. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, two hard fought uh, games these last two days, so yeah. And for us to play and to continue to play as well as we have these last two days, I think the rest will, you know, be very in our advantage. <laughs> Michael from talking from Francis Marion, coach, and then to Bree also. Those of us from Florence have been able to watch Bree play defense this year as far as drawing charges. I'm sure if it, we kept the stat, it would probably be uh, a season record for the number of charges she's drawn. I think she took three tonight. Right. Talk a little bit about what that means at the defensive end, and then Bree, if you'll follow her, and you know, do you take pride in that? Is that something you're looking to do? Um. Bree does so many things that don't show up. Um, you know, we, we hit a, a spot um, as we were closing out conference play when Bree got knocked upside the head in a game and she had the, we, we lost her for two games. She had a concussion. Um, and we really felt that. Um, and it wasn't so much the stuff that shows up in the box score. It was, it was understanding the game plan. Um, it was being, a, a, you know, an awesome athlete who can defend anywhere on the floor. Um, it's, you know, knowing when to help, when to recover, when to take a charge, when to rebound. Um, so, I, you know, I just think as, as valuable as we, you know, as everybody has been, you know, she's got to be one of our most valuable players, without a doubt, just because of what she brings every night. And you would look at her numbers, um, and tonight she had a double-double. But you would look at her numbers on most nights, and you know they're not you know anything that would blow you away. But there's just so many things that she does um, that don't show up, and I think good teams have to have those type players, and she has definitely been that for us all year. Marie, is that something that you, you take pride in, obviously? Um, yes, sir. Um, I know late in the season it's all about making plays. Coach tells us that she's been telling us that the last couple of days. Best teams in the com in the conference and in the NCAA tournament make plays throughout the whole tournament, and I know a charge. You know, it's not, you know, scoring a big three or you know hitting a half court shot, but you know it makes plays. It makes swings momentum back in our favor. I mean, I know we were down 39-30 at one point. You know, one charge can swing the momentum and get our team, you know, resettled in on our game plan and then give our team the confidence we need to finish out the game, which it did today. And I'm glad I could help with that. Her charge is our dunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, For real. we haven't found anybody that can do that yet, but we'll, we'll take the charge. I'm working day. on that. You watch, our, you, watch, you watch our bench when she takes the charge. It has yeah. about the same effect. <laughs> she also I, I actually turned to my, you know, I actually turned to my assistant before the game started, and I didn't say it to her, but I said, Bree may not come off the floor tonight. <laughs> so I guess I did know what I was doing, I, you know, because I actually made that statement before the game started. But again, you know, she's a great athlete and well conditioned, um, you know, and so if anybody could handle it, we knew she could. And sort of for anybody on the dais, uh, you guys saw Augusta twice during the regular season, beat them both times. Anderson will be new. Preference to whom you'll see on Monday. Whoever we get, <laughs> we'll be ready. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I don't have a preference at all. I, you know, it, this field has been so good um, from start to finish. I think the committee did a wonderful job, um, and so I just think you know every game is going to be a battle, and it, it's not going to matter if it's a team we've seen twice or a team we've never seen before at all. Um, I just think we've got to prepare ourselves for a battle and get ready to come out and compete for 40 minutes. And it's just an honor just to be this far when no one thought we would be here anyway. So <laughs> the farther we go, it doesn't matter who we play. We're going to play our play. game, <laughs> and hopefully it will fall in our favor at the end of the day. What's emotionally for me, I mean, obviously you're happy for winning the game, but I mean, a month ago, you, nobody probably saw this coming a month ago. Um, <laughs> what's this, is that, how hard is, does, I guess, stay in the moment and also enjoy what's going on? Yeah. It's a lot of mixed emotions, um, but I mean, I am extremely happy because um, yeah, people haven't really been expecting us to get this far, but you know, we knew it that we could get this far because we know when we play like we know how to play and we can, you know, compete with anybody. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit in shock, but I am <laughs> definitely happy. Uh, and because um, my dad just tells me all the time, survive in advance. That's what he's doing. Survive in advance. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for questions. Uh, again, get with Michael Hawkins if you need additional time. Um, representatives from Columbus State will be available shortly. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.